course, we got to start at the obvious. Today is Monday. There was a big fight over the weekend. Two undefeated champions went head to head Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Woo! You did watch the fight, correct? Yeah, for sure. And for what, sure. what did you think about it? Uh, let me just say this. Uh, that fight, that particular fight, was probably the biggest fight in the last 15 years. There's been some big fights. Uh, probably the predecessor to that fight, which wasn't really a fight, would be Mayweather and Conor McGregor. But this fight was huge. These two guys have been on a collision course for about a decade, calling each other out. Uh, one was even said to be afraid to fight the other. So they've been uh, looking to you know, to lock heads for a long time. And uh, going in, it was evenly matched uh, on paper. And uh, that just, you know, the fight itself just proves that on paper don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Errol Spence disappointed me. That's who I was going for. Um, I love Crawford. I think, I just felt like Errol was gonna overpower him. And it turns out it was the latter. It just, that speaks to about light-skinned niggas. That's uh, light-skinned niggas. They crazy, crazy, crazy get beat up by dark-skinned niggas. <laughs> so that's what me and my boy was talking about. It's like them dark-skinned niggas. This nigga's from Omaha, Omaha Nebraska, for those y'all don't know Terrence Crawford where he's from. Errol Smith's from Houston. So we was already thinking, it's all oh, that's it's over because of that. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. Cornhusker State, it got some real ones out there. Crawford. Uh, opened up with Eminem leading him in, which threw me the fuck off. I didn't know who the fat rapper was that was out there rapping for Errol Spence. And Errol Spence came out there looking, he had a look on his face like he knew he wasn't gonna win. I, I, that's just me, you know? And I just felt like he just had a face on and nothing. And it just proved to be exactly what I thought. That shit crazy. Now, do you think that the car accident had something to do with Errol Spence not being able to even match his power and speed? He looked off, man. He wasn't crisp. Uh, normally, he's a sharp puncher. Like, you got to keep your shit tight when you when you fight somebody. I ain't like no expert or no shit, but I know when you widen out, like his arms were when he was throwing his punches, he was like out like that. It, it's not landing with anything. Crawford's jab alone was tattooing the shit out of that man last night. And, the, and they said something really, or uh, Saturday night, they said something really profound about Crawford's jab. Crawford is really, uh, power is, is his right hand. But he started to train to use his power hand as his left, which became stronger than his actual power hand. So this hand is the jab hand. He's hitting you with his power hand, with a jab. So when he hit that jab, it's like getting hit with a hook or, 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 or a straight right hand or something. He's like, pow. And it's like, I was tripping out of you snapping Errol's head back. He's fucking Errol Spence up. His eyes swelled up in the second round. Second round. That little glazed knockdown told me everything I needed to know about how this fight was going to go and how strong Terrence Crawford was. And at that point, I was like, I think Errol, Errol Spence is in trouble. 